Okay, here we are at, at Jones uh, Slough, and we got our, our sampling wells here, three different wells, three different depths. We're going to look at the groundwater flow and look at the quality. And we have to do two things here, measure uh, water levels, which we've accomplished already. But now we're going to take water samples and look at the levels of nitrate or phosphorus and other components in the water and how they affect the slough. So to get the water out of the well, we have to have a submersible pump. We'll put that in and it power it with a battery over here and then pump it out of the tube and we'll measure the water quality and collect samples. First we'll get the well pumped down in. <laughs> Sometimes your cord gets all tangled up though. What are the three sampling depths? Sampling depths are first we have a water table well, and then we have uh, a water table well that's got a screen that intersects the water table, and then we have two other wells, each one's 10 feet further down. I need to get my glove. Get his head out. I got the special sampling glove. Are you where you want to be? Yeah, I just gotta pull it up a little bit. Yeah, we got enough in there. Okay. Ready to continue? Okay. So we've got our pump down at the right level. We're ready to start uh, pumping the water out. We'll connect up the we'll pump to the battery and to ensure we're getting correct uh, sampling we have to make sure we have a sample that's representative of the water quality so we have to pump water out and then look at the temperature and the connectivity of the water and make sure it's stabilized so we know we're not just sampling water from the, the, the tube itself or sampling water from the aquifer as it flows in so we've got to draw some water in and check it so Doug, do you know where the uh, thermometer is? And I'm in pocket. Pocket? Okay. Uh, you can see the water coming out of the tube here. It's, uh, when we first pump it out, it contains some sediment from the bottom of the well. We're going to pump the uh, sample until it clears up. And then we're going to check its connectivity and temperature and see if it stabilizes using this instrument. instrument here. So this uh, container here allows the water sample to flow through and replenish with new water and then we can look at the measurements that are read on here and its connectivity and temperature. So we just started our sampling period here and our initial reading is a connectivity of 266 and a temperature of 54.3. So we're going to watch these and see uh, when they're stable and then our water samples ready to, to put in containers. You can edit the all rest out here now. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. We've got uh, the temperature looks like it's stabilizing at 53.4 degrees Fahrenheit, and our connectivity is stabilized also at 306. So that tells us it's time and our water is clear. So we've got a good sample ready to um, uh, bottle up and take to the lab. So we'll have to record that 306 and 53.4. We've got our sample uh, bottles here for the different analysis. Looks like that one's ready. We've got 
it filled to the top, flew to the air, and now we have a, another sample that's going to the laboratory and we're going to be measuring on phosphorus in this sample, I believe. And we need to preserve it with uh, acid. So we're going to add some acetic acid and it stabilizes it so the, when the lab gets the sample it'll have an accurate analysis of the nitrate in there, or uh, phosphorus in there. Now can we disconnect our pump? And then we're we're also going to actually run uh, nitrates in this one as a uh, check on our uh, meter. Oh, we're not good? Good. And